Hey guys, hoping all is well with everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be introducing a new read-along series known as the Mini Movers and Shakers series. Uh, it is a book series that is um, designed, um, authored by Mary Nin and illustrated by Yulia Zulatova. Um, and they are books that are uh, focusing in on individuals who despite their challenges and their upbringings and their adversities and obstacles in their life, um, they have made an incredible um, positive impact on our world. And there's there's a bunch of these um, books out, so it's a really nice series. Um, but the first one that we're going to be reading today is Walt Disney. And um, as I mentioned, like these always come with some kind of inspirational message, but I um I want to leave one for you guys at the very end myself. So I hope you guys like the um, read along series. Um, if you guys have any requests for a certain um, individual in this series that you've heard of or want to um, hear about, I'd be more than happy uh, to read it for you. But I hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, uh, let's go into it. Walt Disney by Mary Nin, illustrated by Yulia Zulatova. Hi, I'm Walt Disney. I loved to draw when I was a boy. In my free time, I copied cartoons from the newspapers. I joined the school newspaper as our very own cartoonist. This is when my passion developed because I had a lot of fun doing it. I developed my talent by taking night and weekend classes in art while I was in high school. After finishing school, I became an artist's apprentice. Here, I drew cartoons for commercials and eventually learned to work as an animator. But opportunities for me were limited. This was shortly after World War I, when America was in the midst of the Great Depression. Many companies struggled financially and I lost my job when, I, when my employer went out of business. I was a talented cartoonist, but I had failed multiple times to set up my own cartoon companies after I lost my job. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Eventually, I moved to Hollywood, deciding to have one more go at working for myself by setting up my own company. I founded the Walt Disney Company. All the adversity in my life, all my troubles and obstacles, have strengthened me. You may not realize it when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. Our very first animation starred Mickey Mouse, and it was one of the first cartoons to have sound. Encouraged by the eventual success of our first animation, I was determined to produce a full-color feature-length film. It was a very large and expensive undertaking, and many in the industry were sure that we would fail. Nevertheless, we worked hard.
When our film launched, it was a huge success. The film was called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and it is still popular even today. I became one of the biggest names in animation in the world and produced many more successful films. Nearly 100 years later, the Disney Company is one of the largest entertainment companies in the world. Whatever you do, do it well. Do it so well that when people see you do it, they will want to come back and see you do it again, and they will want to bring others and show them how well you do what you do. Here's a timeline of Walt Disney's uh, milestone moments. So, 1932, Walt wins an Academy Award for Best Short Subject, Cartoon. 1960, Walt is given two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. 1964, Walt receives the Presidential Medal of Freedom. 1968, Walt is posthumously awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. And that is the story of Walt Disney. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, uh, that read along. Um, and as I mentioned with these, I always kind of want to give a very inspirational message um, at the end, kind of going with the theme. Um, I But I think Walt Disney's message is really powerful and a very true one to stand by. I think that regardless of the obstacles and the challenges that we have in our lives, um, it is really important for us to not give up on our goals and aspirations and that we always keep the fire that's kind of inside of us for our passions and our goals lit and uh, we keep it fueled. I also believe in what he says about the kick in the teeth, so to speak, about how sometimes when we go through struggles and we go through hard times, it is put in our path to only make us stronger. And I think that when we visualize it that way, as opposed to a burden or some kind of um, impediment of our goals, um, we can see it from a very positive light. So whatever your goals may be, guys, never give up on them. Always kind of surround yourself by people who will support you in those goals. And if you do see um a obstacle or something in the way, just know that it's preparing you for something even greater. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please take good care of yourselves, and um, we'll hope to see you soon, and take care and be safe. Bye.